With gas prices at a record high, thanks in large part to the war in Ukraine, what can you do to your tires in order to maximize fuel economy? I'll show you in this video as we talk tires. The war in Ukraine is being felt around the world, and one of the ways that we're paying the price here in North America is with higher fuel prices at the pump. As I record this video, in the part of Canada where I live, we're paying about $2 a liter for fuel. That's roughly $8 a gallon for our American viewers, although I know that they're paying right now about $4 to $5 a gallon in most states. Either way, the point is we're all paying a lot more for fuel than we used to. So I wanted to offer a quick tip about how you can maximize fuel economy without spending any money. It's a tip you've likely heard many times before, but one that will make an especially significant difference now that we're all paying record high prices for gasoline and diesel. And here's the tip. Make sure your tires are properly inflated. Now, how much fuel can you save by properly inflating your tires, you ask? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Energy, underinflated tires can lower gas mileage by about 0.2% for every one PSI drop in the average pressure of all tires. National Resources Canada says driving a vehicle with tires underinflated by 56 kilopascals or 8 psi can increase fuel consumption by up to 4%. It can also reduce the life of your tires by more than 10,000 kilometers. Now, 4% may not sound like much, but when you're paying two bucks a liter or four to five bucks a gallon, every little bit helps. And chances are that if you do not check your tire pressure regularly, you're likely driving on tires that are more than 8 PSI underinflated, so you're likely wasting more than the 4% of fuel mentioned above. In fact, Transport Canada reports that about 70% of the vehicles on the road in Canada have at least one tire that is either over or underinflated by more than 10%. Moreover, they say that 23% of all vehicles surveyed had at least one tire underinflated by 20%. So chances are huge that if you're not in the habit of checking your tire pressure regularly, you're one of these drivers with a significant pressure problem. Now your numbers will obviously vary, but the bottom line is this, you're not going to save money on fuel by ignoring your tire pressure. So why not check your tire pressure regularly, maybe uh, once a week to make sure you're not losing air and paying more for fuel than is absolutely necessary. Now you might be wondering, if tire pressure is so important for fuel economy, well, maybe I should overinflate my tires to save even more on fuel. Well, if that thought crossed your mind, you're not alone. In fact, popular mechanics tested this theory only to find that it did not work. I'll give a link in the description below to their article if you want to read it yourself. In fact, strangely, their fuel economy suffered, although slightly, when the tires were overinflated. But the real problem, they said, was the way the vehicle handled. So overinflating tires won't help fuel economy, and since you're losing out on handling, it's also dangerous. Now, if you're not sure what the proper tire pressure is for your vehicle, please double check the numbers on the sticker that looks like this, and it's located on the driver's seat door jam, or in some cases, in the glove box. And if you're going to check your tire pressure, please do it when the tires are cold. In other words, first thing in the morning, that would be ideal, or after your car has been parked for a few hours. According to Transport Canada, tires will be considered cold if the vehicle has been stationary for at least three hours or has not driven more than two kilometers or one and a quarter miles for our American friends. Personally, I would check the pressure first thing in the morning and then you can drive to the nearest gas station to add air as needed. Do not let the guys at the quick lube do it either. You know, when you go in for an oil change, they tell you that as part of their fancy service, they're not only going to top up your windshield, uh, washing fluid, but uh, they're also going to check your tires and top them up with air. But it makes no sense for them to do so because you've been driving on those tires probably for a while, so they're hot. Just tell them that you don't want the tires touched at all, period. Thank you very much. As we face rising gas prices together, please consider checking and adjusting your tire pressure regularly. It will save you money at the pumps and it will extend the life of your tires. Now, if you'd like to know what else you can do to improve fuel economy, check out the video that's right here. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you the next time we talk tires.